ሰላም በባለፈው ጊዜ ስለ ብራኪያ ሊፕሌክሰስ ኖርማል አናቶሚ ተመረናል በፓርት 1 እና በፓርት 2 ዛሬ የምናየው ስለ ብራኪያ ሊፕሌክሰስ ኢንጁሪ ይሁናል ዘሩ ቲዩብን ሰብስክራይብ እና ላይክ ኮሜንት እንዲሁም ደግሞ ኖቲፋይድ ማድረግ ወይም ዴዲውል መልከቷን መጫና ይርሱ ሶ ስብራኪያ ሊፕሌክሰስ ኢንጁሪ ኢዝ ኢ ኢንጁሪ ኦፍ ዘ ኖርማል አናቶሚ ኦፍ the brachial plexus ስለዚ normal anatomy cal structure of the nerve injured ወይም በሚጎዱ በሰዓት ምን አይነት ሳይንስ ቢታም ይኖራቸው የሚለው እና ያለ so the brachial plexus uh, we can see the brachial plexus at starting from the root ከroot ጀምረን ነው so there if there is any brachial plexus at the pre pre ganglionic and post ganglion pre ganglionic brachial plexus injury is the injury which occur at the root root lie yeminoru ye brachial plexus injury och minilachwalen pre ganglionic brachial plexus injury inilachwalen yih ganglion now before that this one is a pre ganglionic area and this area is the ganglionic area and if there is any injury below the ganglion is called post ganglionic injury the ganglion betach emigenyut injuries dagmo post ganglionic injury enilachwalen selezi so when you have an injury to the brachial plexus you have to determine if it is a pre ganglionic or post ganglionic pre ganglionic now weim degmo post ganglionic injury no mino majemara lay mauq igebanan malet the pre ganglionic injury is an avulsion proximal to the dorsal root ganglia of the sensory ganglia selezi ka sensory ganglia bela yem demo abab emigenyu injuryochin pre ganglionic men enilachwalen injury enilachwale this is the typically the pre ganglionic injury selezi pre ganglionic injuryoch men ayet injury nacho the injury which which is occur at the root of brachial plexus ke brachial plexus root lay yemikassetu injuries nacho malitna so the brachial the pre ganglionic injury involve the central nerve system and it is root amphoje central nerve system menelo the spinal cord This, this is central nerve system a spinal cord so let's spinal cord den chamro yeminoru avulsions yeminoru injuries men enilachwalen pre ganglionic enilachwalen it includes the root of brachial plexus the spinal cord and the brain enezi soost negeroch band lay honu zigay mikkesetu injuries kalu it it is typically the pre ganglionic injury pre ganglionic injury which natural so we should differentiate the pre ganglionic or post ganglionic so the pre ganglionic injury has no potential for recovery it has bad prognosis if there is any injury at that occur at the root of brachial plexus on the spinal cord and brain the rehabilitation of the prognosis of this injury is bad anezi le yemikkesetu injuryoch prognosis prognosis acho wem treatment katesarrelacho wale yeminoracho prognosis bad prognosis so we should care the pre ganglionic injury so what do you find in a pre ganglionic brachial plexus injury ምን ምን ነገሮችን ስናይ ነው ኢንጁሪው 
pre-ganglionic injury now when the more post ganglionic injury now so what what typical feature tell you this is typically pre-ganglionic brachial plexus injury oh this is typically post post ganglionic brachial injury <clears throat> so the patient who has patient who has a pre-ganglionic brachial plexus injury has typical manifestation of Horner syndrome there is a Horner syndrome Horner syndrome this is come due to the disruption of sympathetic chain that find at C8 up to T1 C8 is T1 and C8 and T1 malet no let to chu nerve root bemigodu besa patient can have a sign a symptom of Horner syndrome Horner syndrome you know what malet no what is Horner syndrome mind no Horner syndrome malet so this is C8 up to T1 uh, that's find at the pre-ganglionic area so which types of symptom can have Horner syndrome the main manifestation of the Horner syndrome that come due to the injury of pre-ganglionic the patient can have tosis tosis meiosis anhydrosis and in ophthalmos tosis management you know a i eyeballs of the yelanya ye ayin meshafanya weyim demo ay la shakaba bi yallo min yona maltno they relax and fall down relax yaragna fall down yaragal you see this this is a sign of tosis this is sign of tosis and the patient can have also meiosis Myosis and the patient can have anhydrosis. Anhydrosis malet minimized sweet glass sweet production. You know. So the sweet production is absent. So the patient face become dry. Fitu betam yegarata and in the mudarek yonal mukatum sweet gland which nazi so it miamer to glandoch sirachun yakomalu because of the sympathetic damage and in ophthalmos in ophthalmos means the eye goes to the eyeball goes to inward aynacho wedos good good yale yonal look enyawun enyawun yayin position kezinyo yayin position astawodadderu this one is totally totally in of terms, what does the geba yale normality? So the the patient can have tosis, meiosis, anhydrosis in of terms that come due to Horner syndrome. If the patient who is brachial plexus injury has Horner system syndrome, then this is typically bad prognosis. So the patient who has brachial plexus injury. Um, who has sign and symptom of Horner syndrome? You should expect that this patient has bad problems. Horner syndrome, yalla patient, who lim kaganyachu during a brachial plexus injury that I know. Horner syndrome, kalle but yeminoro prognosis bad prognosis now. Mukniya this injury is mainly affect the root of brachial plexus. Spinal cord and brain. Nazina kalat slemi goda. Nazika to go do the gmo. Ye minoro prognosis, bad prognosis. So we should expect such types of thing. And as a manifestation of pre ganglionic injury, Lilanya manifestation, uh, look, there is a branch of nerve that arises from the root of brachial plexus like long thoracic nerve, suprascapular nerve, and 
ፈርኒክ ነው ሶ እነዚ በሙሉ ተጎጂ ይሆናሉ ምክንያቱም ከሩቱ ነው የሚነሳው ከሩቱ የሚነሱ ነርቦች ከሩቱ ብራንች ዲያደርጎ የሚነሱ ነርቦች እንዲሁም ደግሞ ከዛ ተነስተው ወደ ታች ሄደው ኮርድ ፎርም የሚያደርጉን ነርቦች በሙሉ ተጎጂ ይሆናሉ ሶ ዘ ፔሸንት the patient who has a preganglionic injury has the medial wing of the scapula scapula or medial wing yaraga ya malet ujachun ka gidgidaga umacho ujachun ka gidgidaga geftachu bitizu the scapula goes to posterior wodo hala scapula posterior ti yedalles this can due to loss of the serratus anterior muscle and the involvement of long thoracic nerve this long thoracic nerve is arise from the root of c5 c6 and c7 so due to the injury of preganglionic nerve or the root of brachial plexus the long thoracic nerve become paralyzed because of that there is a muscle which is innervated by long thoracic nerve which is called serratus anterior muscle this this muscle is very important to retract the scapula against to the thoracic wall the thoracic wall ga scapula against to no ndikamat yemiyaderg muscle if this muscle is paralyzed patient can have winging scap minoral winging scapula so the long thoracic nerve is one of the nerve which is affected due to the injury of preganglionic injury look at this one c7 c6 and c7 c5 c6 and c7 is the origin of long thoracic nerve the other nerve the other nerve which is important for innervation of rhomboid minor rhomboid major and levator scapulae is dorsal scapular nerve this dorsal scapular nerve is originated from this dorsal scapular nerve is originated from the root of c5 dorsal scapular nerve ka c4 na ka c5 yiminessa nerve yih nerve if there is an injury on the c5 root or at the preganglionic injury patient can have the paralysis of rhomboid muscles like rhomboid minor and rhomboid major nazi rhomboid minor na rhomboid major minilacho meseloch attaqalay tegoji yihonalo malatu because this nerve is originated at the root of c5 wem degmo ka preganglionic nerve root of the nerve is originated ka nazi no originated miyadergaw malatu so uh, rhomboid minor rhomboid major paralyzed due to dorsal scapular nerve injury and the supraspinatus the infraspinatus weakness come due to also the suprascapular nerve injury always look for a preclavicular nerve root involvement such as scapular winging rhomboid muscle paralysis rotator cuff dysfunction ሁሌም ቢሆን ከክላቪክል በላይ የማንኛው አይነት ኢንጁሪዎች ካሉ ፕሪጋንግሎኒክ ኢንጁሪ አለ ወይም የለም ብለ ለማናገር እነዚህ ሲፕተሞች ማየት ይወርዳል ስካፕላ ዊንዲንግ አለው የለው ሮምቦይድ መሰል ፓራላይዝ ነው ወይስ አይደለም የለው rotator cuff dysfunction አለ ወይም የለም የሚሉትን እነዚህ ሶስት ነገሮችን ቼክ ካደረግነ በኋላ ካለ there is a preganglionic brachial plexus injury ተለለ ደግሞ there is you confirm that there is no a preganglionic brachial plexus injury ማለት እንችላለን so we should check any injury which is occur superior to the clavicle ከክላቪክል በላይ የሆኑ ኢንጁሪዎችም ሁሌም ቢሆን ቼክ ማድረግ ይኖርብናል so the other manifestation of preganglionic injuries flare አርማችን ምን ይሆነ ማለት ነው ዴዝ ፍሌር የሚወር ከንፍ የሚመስል ነገር ሳይን ወጥ ይመጣል ዲ ዩ ሲ ዚስ ኢዝ ሎንግ ዲስታንስ ቢትዊን ዘ አርም ኤንድ 
በቶራክስ በቶራክስ እና በአርም መካከለ ያለው ዲስታንስ በጣም ሰፊ ነው there will be motor deficient and the sensor is intact በዚህ ጊዜ motor deficient accompanied ያረጋል sensory function gain intact ሊሆን ይችላል so what's sign of preganglion injuries flare up ክንፍ ያለው ክንፍ አውጦ ወይም ደግሞ ይሄ ምንድነው የሚባለው በጣም የማነጀብ ስታይል አይነት ነገር የሚመስል እጁን አንከርፎ ነው የሚመጣው so this is sign of preganglion injury preganglion injury ያለ ወይም የለውም የሚለውን ይነግረናል ለምን ይመስላችኋል why because the sensory neurons are in the dorsal root ganglia the sensory function is intact because of this calm due to the dorsal root ganglia የብራቻል ፍሌክሰስ ሩቶች የሚነሱ ከቬንትራል ነው ቬንትራል ሩት ላይ ነው የሚነሱ ስለዚህ ፕሪ ጋንግሊኒክ ኢንጁሪ ብራቻል ፍሌክሰስ ላይ ቢከሰት ሰንሰሪ ፋንክሽን ኖርማል ሊሆን ይችላል ምክንያቱ ሰንሰሪ ፋንክሽን የሚነሱ ነርቦች ለሰንሰሪ ፋንክሽን የሚነሱ ነርቦች ኦሪጂኔት የሚያደርጉት ከዶርሳል ሩት ኦፍ ጋንግሊያ ነገር ግን ደ ፕሪ ጋንግሊኒክ ኢንጁሪ ኦ ብራቻል ፍሌክሰስ ኢንጁሪ የሚከሰተው ከቬንትራል ሩት ላይ ነው so the sensation passes to the dorsal root ganglia is uninterrupted does not affect it so you can you can appreciate that motor function paralyzed kuno sensory function gun normal li yichilal mekniyatu brachial plexus ut yeminnesut ke ventral root no sensory function acho gun yeminnesaw ke dorsal root selezi if there is any preganglionic injury በዚህ ማወቅ እንችላለን ሰንሰሪ ፋንክሽኑ ኖርማል ሆኖ ሞተር ፋንክሽኑ ፓራላይዝ ሆኖ the injury is located at the level of preganglionic injury preganglionic injury ነው ብለ መውሰድ እንችላለን ማለት ነው so this is another another uh, difference that make you where well, this is preganglionic or postganglionic So the image will show loose of innervation to the cervical paraspinal muscles. This is a very good test. Yih, eru test no malitu. It is very very good test. That tell you whether this is preganglionic or postganglionic. When you have loose innervation of the cervical paraspinal muscle, then this is a root problem. and no brachial plexus problem if you get any cervical paraspinal muscles paralysis nezi ka spinal muscle ga mi metu cervical area lay cervix weyem demo nezi neck lay neck area lay mi ginyu muscles alu which is called paraspinal muscle minilacho nezi muscles loose be adergu don't consider that this is a brachial plexus brachial plexus injury no blacho men marage yellebacho consider marage yellebacho because this is commonly fa, the commonly originated from spinal cord ka spinal cord diminessu nacho so this is uh, not a brachial plexus problem related to paraspinal muscles problems so this is a preganglionic next let us see about post ganglionic as i told you that as i told you that post ganglionic injuries come due to the injury of trunk ballefo ndaye no mindinalo brachial plexus root trunk division cord and terminal branch minilo nakaralle selezi kezi label lai ፖስት ጋንግሊዮኒክ ኢንጁሪ ምንላቸው ከሄት ወደ ሄት ባወቀ ከጋንግሊዮን በታች አሉት this is a ganglion below the ganglion you can get trunk ወይም ደግሞ ምንላለን ፖስት ጋንግሊዮኒክ ኢንጁሪ the post ganglionic brachial plexus injury involves the peripheral nerve system that are the ability to recover and regenerate look the difference between them preganglionic injury ፕሮግኔሱ ሳቸው ባድ ነው ሳይንስ ይጥማቸው 
እንደምንድነው ኮንሲደር የሚደረጉ እንደ ሴንትራል አላርብ ሲስተም ኦስ ጋንግሎኒክ ኢንጁሪ ኢዝ ዘ ፔሪፈራል ሲስተም ፔሪፈራል ነርቭ ሲስተም ነው ሶ ዘ ሳይን ኢን ሲፕተም ኦፍ ኦስ ጋንግሎኒክ ነርቭ ሲስተም ፖስት ጋንግሎኒክ ኢንጁሪ ኢዝ ሉክ ላይክ ዘት ኦፍ ፔሪፈራል ነርቭ ሲስተም ኢንጁሪ and special miyaragacho degmo mindno they can avul to regenerate rasachun regenerate mare ichilallu they can ability to recover memeles ichilal post preganglionic injury lay gen recovery i know so the our prognosis in preganglionic is bad prognosis our prognosis in the uh, prognosis in the post ganglionic is it is good or better prognosis betam tru prognosis yinoranal so this is a different sound post ganglionic corona recovery yachin tru no pre ganglionic corona gen bad prognosis no minoral selezi lay men gizeyachin na na tafa the patient will be sensor deficient and motor deficient the injury is distal to the dorsal ganglia so that this will be affect the sensations look in preganglionic the motor function is totally lost but the sensory function is intact lela difference acho degmo preganglionic lai sensory function intact no mkniyatu the sensory function of the brachial plexus is originate from the dorsal root the dorsal root sile minnesu in post ganglionic injury both the sensory and the motor function is totally lost because the dorsal root and the sensory root they integrate together at the level of post ganglionic area as the post ganglionic area le hulatochu sensory ka sensory root yeminnesu trunkochu ka motor yeminnesa trunk band le sile migenanyu eh bota bigoda you should consider both sensory and motor function selezi sensory na motor function abro most konu post ganglionic no sensory function intact huno motor function demo katagoda that is pre ganglionic no blen differentiate marak ichilale sele benezi meleyet ichalam malatni look <coughs> The C5, C6, and C7 is the origin of long thoracic nerve. Long thoracic nerve. So we can min bilen melayet inchilallan. We can give the name like nervous paralysis. The nervous paralysis is one type of preganglionic preganglionic injury that originated from the spinal nerve of C. 5 up to T1 ka C5 eska T1 yemidersu nerve rootoch bigodu minnilachwalen nervous paralysis mainly C5 C6 and C7 injuries called nervous paralysis nervous paralysis malet inchilale so what is the sign and symptom of nervous paralysis so the nervous point the nervous point is a joint the c5 and c6 is occur so let c5 na c6 band le migenanyu betin nervous point nilwal this is occur this is this point is gate to up to 3 cm above the clavicle ka clavicle ka 2 eska 3 cm kaf binil you can get the nervous the nervous point this nervous point is a pressure over this point they say the duchenne nervous paralysis can cause duchenne nervous paralysis if there is an injury which is occur above the two up to three centimeter above the clavicle and at the level of c5 c6 of superior tract superior tract so at this point we can get duchenne nervous paralysis so the nervous point so injury to the nervous point is commonly sustained at the bars or from pull on to the shoulder so eh neger mikasato bebzat hatsanat bemiwoledu besa woy ndemo ketilik zaf lay woy ketilik kafta lay be tikshacho bemiwoku bet gize yemikasat paralyzed no 
زدوچنی اربس پارالایسیس کامپیو تو دربس پوینتیز اینجور. سو زد اربس پارالایسیس کاوزد بای زد لیژن ات د آپر پارتس اف زد برایا پلکسس نورمالی انوالمی زد نربل تو سی فایف و سی سیکس. دو سی C5 and the C6, they they give together the superior trunk, and if there is an injury on C5 and C6, you can upset the types of paralysis which is called nervous paralysis. Nervous paralysis me balloon. Nagar check mara gunchlana matin. What is the symptoms of nervous paralysis? The symptom includes the paralysis of the biceps muscle. The brachialis, the coraco brachialis. Nazi sosto chumasloch, anterior compartments of arm line, migin suonu, many linear beti mid darago, the musculocutanis nerve. Musculocutanis nerve, collateral cord in So if there is any patient who has par injury at the level of arabus point, the patient can have paralysis of those muscles. The biceps, brachialis, and coracobrachialis. So the brachioradialis also, which is fine in the forearm, is one type of paralysis. The deltoid is the axillary nerve injury. Axillary nerve injury. So, source nerve which is good to each other. Musculoctanis nerve, radial nerve, axillary nerve, good to each other. Musculoctanis nerve, paralysis color due to arbus paralysis. Those three muscles are mainly affected. If the radial nerve is paralyzed, only one muscle, which is brachioradial muscles. If there is an axillary nerve injury, the patient can have deltoid muscle paralysis. So, a reverse point is a good point to say this is a reverse paralysis or not. Or not. So, the impair. This the patient manains milk to chin or tan. The patient can have impaired shoulder abduction. The patient cannot abduct the shoulder, and the patient can have external rotation. And the elbow flexion with decreased sensation the thumb and the index finger with a normal scapular control. So the patient can have those signs and symptoms. If you get those signs and symptoms, the patient unable to uh, abduct the shoulder, if the patient can have ro rotated arm, if the patient can have elbow flexion with decreased sensation in the thumb and the index finger, you should consider that is the cause of arvas paralysis injury which is called which is occurred at the level of superior trunk. Superior trunk like good at our level at you. Consider the tarot with the bar. Malet. So this is uh, the root, the deficient, the prognosis of the arvas buchini paralysis. Arvas buchini paralysis at the level of C5 and C6. The arvas paralysis is the most common birth related birth related neuropraxia. Around 48% of the herbus paralysis come due to common birth related neuropraxia. That's the best prognosis. Then, the babizat is anat, the mewal rubasat, kiklanya, ye delivery procedures anat the gapsangar. Damsarandasat, angatun sabalin not on chalalan, bazisat. Around 48% of the herbus paralysis come due to inappropriate delivery delivery system. But the prognosis is based on the good prognosis. As I told you that any post-ganglionic injury has a good rehabilitation, regeneration and recovery phase. So let's see if we have a good prognosis. And the cause by the lesion C5 and C6 nerve root is the main cause of uh, arbus paralysis. As, as do you see this? As I'm going to say, the symptoms of arbus paralysis are the waiter tip position. This is a waiter tip position. This is a waiter tip position. 
you see this is a waiter tip position if you get this types of sign if you get this types of sign look the arm is rotated externally rotated the elbow is flexed and the wrist is flexed in rotated backward and it gives a sign of arvas the waiter tip position if you get waiter tip position you should consider that this paralysis come due to arvas paralysis yeh nagar arvas paralysis no blam nagar inchilalan malatni the other paralysis which is calm Commonly in obstetric case, obstetric case by minor basat, the basat bit emicasat paralyzed dagmal. Yemajemare or was paralyzed, the basat emicasato. Lejun anger to water than bemna walled. It increases the extension, the angle of the shoulder, a dang that find between the shoulder and the neck. But the lumpiki paralysis, the lumpiki paralysis come due to the injury of C8 up to T1. C8 not T1 line, we have the root, brachial plexus root 8 and brachial plexus root T1, like yimikasat paralysis. So this paralysis is calm due to if at the delivery level, if uh, the child is delivered by uh, pulling the hand of the child, yes, and on edge go to the bamna suta besat, when the mojun go to the lama wallet bamna mokar besat, ye mi fatar. Carbus paralyzed gamila yo mendano, lumpiki paralyzed ye mi kasato, if the angle between the shoulder and the neck decrease. But I'm shoulder na be shoulder na be ni kumaka kani minoro. Angle si kanes lump ke paralay si metan. Arabas gan tak aran. If the angle between that find between the neck and the shoulder is increased, you can turn or tear the C5 and C6. If the angle between the neck and the shoulder is decreased, the root of the brachial plexus C8 and Q1 is here, so you can appreciate the lump key paralysis. Lump key paralysis, no control. So may follow the forceful abduction of the shoulder. Look, may follow the forceful abduction of the shoulder, producing the weakness of the interesting muscle of the hand, as well as the long flexor and extensor of the finger. So in lump key paralysis, there is weakness of intrinsic muscle of the hand, as well as the flexor and extensor muscle of the finger can appreciate in the lump key paralysis the lump key paralysis in the zin nagaruch appreciate the narag inchilala marzi those lesions are usually pregangloni like that of arvas paralysis for an association of horner syndrome the sensory deficit is along the medial aspect of the heart forearm and the hand so the sensory deficit along the medial aspect of the arm, the forearm, and the hand. So the lumpiki paralysis can have a flaccid arm. Note the flaccid arm that is ranged from C5 up to T1, and it has bad prognosis. So let's see bad prognosis. Let us see about long thoracic nerve. As I told you that the long thoracic nerve is originated from C5, C6, and C7. So the long thoracic nerve is a branch of the root of brachial plexus. This nerve is very important to innervate the serratus anterior nerve. So the long thoracic nerve, long thoracic nerve, is goes to Touch with the thoracic cavity. The thoracic cavity ga adhere or go in the moment in argono follow no meara. So let's if you get the thoracic cavity, you can appreciate the lateral parts of thoracic cavity. You can appreciate the long thoracic nerve. Long thoracic nerve ben appreciate mark inchilala. So let's see whole example. Long thoracic nerve be minor basat. Thoracic cavity, bamnae basal, long thoracic nerve, and appreciate marginal. This is a 
serratus anterior muscle. The central serratus anterior muscle is attached with the scapula and very important for retraction of scapula and prevent the winging of the scapula. If there is any injury in the long thoracic nerve, you can get the winging scapula. Winging of the scapula. The scapula is goes to backward. When you push, when you push the wall of the house, ye beta chung gidda bemit gafu basar bolu tijachu. The scapula is goes to posterior. This types of sign is called winging of the scapula. Winging of the scapula. So <clears throat> if you get a sign of winging of the scapula, hul gizema masabella bachu. That is long or asinar. So the scapula goes to dorsal protrusion. Most of the time, most of the time, long thoracic nerve is come due to mastectomy. Mastectomy means if there is any breast cancer, yet with cancer kalla. If there is any breast mass, in order to treat the breast mass, they remove the breast mass as well as some parts of the thoracic cavity. Basically, long thoracic nerve follows the thoracic cavity, the outer parts of the thoracic cavity. Accidentally, accidentally, the long thoracic nerve can paralyze. So, let's say mastectomy with the breast surgery by Mr. Rabbit, long thoracic nerve will go digital. Mallet. So, we should care about long thoracic nerve. Let us say about axillary nerves. Axillary nerve is a nerve uh, which is uh, originated from the axillary nerve is nerve which is uh, originated from the posterior cord and goes to the quadrangular uh, space and give innervation for teres minor and deltoid muscles. The teres minor and deltoid muscle uh, innervate in If there is any injury in the axillary nerve, the patient can able, not able to abduct the shoulder and this is come due to most commonly fracture of a uh, fracture of uh, neck of the the fracture of neck of the humerus and the dislocation of the glenohumerus joint so let's see the, if there is any fracture of neck of the humerus and if there is any dislocation on the glenohumeral joint the axillary nerve can <clears throat> damage so axillary nerve sigoda the deltoid muscle and teres minor muscle paralyze you know so the patient not able abduct the shoulder shoulder and abduct mark actually so the shoulder become abduct due to the paralysis of the deltoid muscle so the patient have the weak muscle of the deltoid and teres minor muscle teres minor na deltoid muscle weak uno linagenyacho inchilala not only that not only that at the superior part of the shoulder at the superior part of the shoulder there is sensory loss zia kawabi alichuan superior part of the shoulder innervate miyarag lin axillary nerve selezi axillary nerve injury be minor besat there is sensory loss at the level of deltoid muscle on the superior surface of the arm. Arm lay along superior surface. Sensory loss are good. Naganyo, inchilala. Look, as kiziga de mo detailing. Axillary nerve is originated from. Axillary nerve is originated from mainly at the posterior cord. And this nerve is has direct attachment with the neck of the humerus. Okay, humerus ga humerus ka min lo muscle ga. I mean bonga direct contact allo. So let's see if there is an injury. If there is any injury on the neck of the humerus, or if there is any dislocation of the glenohumeral joint. Most commonly, the axillary nerve is injured. Abzanyo gizi axillary nerve, you go down. 
So the axillary nerve is injured due to surgical neck, surgical neck fracture, and five percent of the shoulder dislocation can cause axillary nerve injury. Axillary nerve injury after the shoulder dislocation, the patient will be unable to abduct the shoulder and the deltoid will have no muscle bones. Deltoid minimizes muscle tone, you know, because, because the patient because the patient is able to abduct the shoulder by the function of the deltoid muscle. Deltoid muscle now shoulder action abduct and another yemi adarga. Bazita nasa deltoid muscle paralyzed by minor by minor but gize the patient lose the muscle tone and unable to abduct the muscle. Not only that, there will be decreased sensation or absence of sensation on the area of the lateral shoulder. The lateral shoulder bakulimikinyon as I told you that the mulain denagar huachu superior parts of the arm of the inferior part of the shoulder is nervated by axillary nerve. So let's see, is this area like is this area like hidachu uh, sensation check the other good the patient can lose sensation. This area like bicha many other gamma let no sensation lose the other girl. So you should consider axillary nerve. If the axillary nerve Paralyze the effect around the blood to consider marriage. So, this is area is low sensation during axillary nerve injury. If the patient is older, the inability to abduct the shoulder may be altered due to the tear of the rotator calf muscle. Sometimes, the rotator calf muscle, like super, super, uh, suprascapular and diphrascapularis muscles, as well as the tear. Terus major and terus uh, minor muscles are the rotator cuff muscle. Most of the most commonly the supraspinatus muscle injured due to that the rotator cuff muscle can have injury and the patient is unable to abduct the shoulder. Shoulder room maragachilum abduct maragachilum. Due to that there is a dislocation of the shoulder. This can be confused. Whether patient has axillary nerve injury or no, and then the rotator cuff muscle injury who now uh, patient to shoulder run abduct maragachu. So in nazi nagaro axillary nerve si goddam deltoid muscle paralyzed slaminor shoulder run na yono abduct mo na chile. So in nazi hulet nagaro ch confuse le arabu ni chile. So we should we should check the sensation. Sensation un check kada ragachu gay. Any rotator cuff muscle, yeah, but I know when axillary nerve injury, yeah, but I should go no blood to me like it touch like that. So we sh we should consider the rotator cuff muscle. Rotator cuff muscle, consider marag alabal. Rotator cuff muscle injury kala, tamo sa sa ay like the axillary nerve injury shoulder, mentally normal no shoulder. Abduction loss theraga. So rule out the rotator cuff tear or rule out whether there is axillary nerve. So let's indeed no rule out men go. If you check the sensation, sensation on check kadaragna. No, sensation lose kadaraga, axillary nerve injury. No, sensation lose kala lodagmo. That is not axillary nerve injury. Ya yeah, axillary nerve injury adalam malatin. It does not matter if the rotator cuff is intact or torn. The sensation of the skin of the lateral shoulder will tell you if there is axillary nerve paralysis or not. Injury of the axillary nerve vary from neurofragia to complete tear of the nerve. So this is a degree of axillary nerve injury. That's, that starts from the neurofragia up to the complete tear of the nerve injury. The neurofragia is the complete tear of the nerve injury. Neurofragia mallet, there is pain Neural pain, me muscle with abdomen, you bazaar. Complete tear color, axillary nerve line, total loss of function in oral. Maletim. The axillary nerve pass over the scapularis and then curve backward. 
below it and underneath the shoulder joint capsule to enter the quadrangular space. So this is a course of the axillary nerve that goes to the quadrangular space and rotate the rot rotator cuff muscle. Look, this is the quadrangular space. This quadrangular space is a space that is very important for passage of axillary nerve and circumflex circumflex humerus artery circumflex humerus artery so look this is a boundary of quadrangular space there is teres minor muscle teres major muscle triceps muscle the long head and short head and supraspinate infraspinate muscles also some really should look at this boundary the quadrangular space the quadrangular space the teres muscle the teres minor muscles the teres minor muscles bound the superior boundary the humerus bone it gives the lateral border the long triceps muscles it gives the medial border and the teres major muscles they give the inferior border so the superior border is formed by teres minor muscle the lateral border lateral border is formed by mainly humerus and the medial border is formed by long thoracic nerve and the inferior border is formed by teres major so let's see the boundary the quadrangular space boundary the content of the content of Quadrangular space is one axillary nerve. This is the yellow color is axillary nerve. So let's continue to two and then you axillary nerve now. The second one is circumflex humeral artery. Circumflex humeral artery boundary. This is a quadrangular space. This is a quadrangular space and the content of quadrangular space so the quadrangular space is the space that give two content axillary nerve and posterior circumflex humeral arteries are passed through the quadrangular space and in circle or surrounding the neck of the humerus neck of the humerus look at this the tip of from the tip of the acromion from the tip of the acromion Acromion this is a tip of acromion from the tip of acromion five centimeter below the tip of acromion you can get the side of axillary nerve and posterior circumflex humeral artery is passed so you should bound it two centimeter that means around seven centimeter from acromion acromion points of the scapula that is sites of axillary nerve. This site is danger zone. This is like a surgical procedure. We have to do injury because of the axillary nerve. You go down. So let's go to the same centimeter. You can see the centimeter space danger zone. We should keep this is like a danger zone. Because the axillary nerve and the posterior circumflex artery commonly affected. This is the axillary nerve and posterior circumflex artery. Surgical procedure, any medication, syringe, and the area because they can easily damage the axillary nerve. During the surgery, the abduction external rotation moves the nerve away from the surgical field. So we should care during surgical procedure as well as during injection. Marifes nuga and dium dagmo. Surgical procedure by Mesarabet Gizi, the axillary nerve. Normal position consider marak yinurum. Let us see about the radial nerve injury. Where is the injury? The radial nerve injury is long pathway. Radial nerve, but I'm reading So the radial nerve is originated from originated from the posterior core. 
the radial nerve is originated from posterior cord and it goes to long journey. It goes to long journey. But I'm rich among the nerve So we should we should consider different sides of radial nerve injury. The radial nerve compression or injury may occur at any point along the course of the nerve. I'm rich among the nerve. So from the axillary up to the hand, the tip of the hand. So we should uh, consider uh, site where the common site where the radial nerve is. Common site, it can go natural. For example, if the injury is occurring in the axilla, the injury is very high radial nerve injury. Axilla like an injury to cause that on radial nerve that could da. The nerve injury in London very high radial nerve parts. This is because I'm considering a high radial nerve injury in London, so there may be have. High radial nerve palsy, and also we can get injury at the level of humerus, injury at the distal parts of the humerus, upper arm to the elbow, ka elbow ka fengu, ligodechula, at the middle parts of the humerus, ligodechula, the axillary area, ligodechula. So, nazi area of the mulu radial nerve ni good abacho emishunacho. We can also the radial nerve injury at the low radial nerve parsi. Ka ilvo betach ni good echula. So, nazi ka ilvo betach si good a most commonly it has low radial nerve parsi. But that alalala radial nerve parsi ni gorom kreatu. Ka zi ka ilvo bela yalut maslo chi. Skin cutaneous innervation is very normal. So, as a minor palsy, anastanian. Axilla like, medium dogmo, middle parts of humerus. At the middle parts of uh, distal parts of the humerus, a minor injury again, high level, no? high level. No? That is, it can cause high level of nerve palsy. And also, there is an injury that. The wrist at the wrist level, like the monjuru lift the rich land. These types of injuries, Wartenberg syndrome, can say we can say that with the Wartenberg syndrome. So, but the galai, but the galai, the axillary nerve can injure at the axillary, the axilla level, at the middle of the humerus, at the distal parts of the humerus, at the distal parts of the elbow joint. And at the level of wrist, can we see that both of them are good to each other? So side is the side which the radial nerve has directly direct contact with the bone. Can we see that the muscle radial nerve direct? Can we not just contact the nerve but the bone can contact the nerve? But side is slow, no, but besides radial nerve injury, can we see that? So can we consider the nerve? He is not benign. Look. This is a high level of radial nerve injury, nerve compression of the axilla. All motor and sensory function below the axilla will be affected with injury at this level. You see, if the injury is occurred at the axillary level, all motor and sensory function below the axilla will be affected with the injury, with the injury at, the, at this level. And sometimes, sometimes, this injury is bad prognosis because they can affect all muscle parts. So the branch of long and medial head of triceps is located at the axillary level with the injury to this area can lose this function. The patient will experience wrist drop due to loss of the function of the extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis muscle. At the distal parts of at the distal parts of the humerus, at the distal parts of the humerus, there is a branch of nerve, which is a branch of nerve that's originated from the radial nerve and give extensor carpi radialis and extensor carpi radialis brevis. As you like, there is a branch of brachioradialis muscle. So those muscles can paralyze if there is an injury which is occurring in the axilla level, as you like, at the middle parts of the humerus, and the injury of the radial nerve which is occur the distal parts of the humerus the distal parts of the humerus both of them are paralyzed the radial nerve injury 
ይከሰታል ማለት ነው so the patient look the patient will experience wrist drop due to the loss of the function of extensor carpi radialis longus and the extensor carpi radialis brevis muscle due to those two muscles paralyzed the patient can have a wrist drop look this picture zigayu wrist drop malet just unable to extend the wrist wrist in min maragachin extend maragachin so the patient unable to extend the wrist there will also be loss of finger extension patient unable to extend finger wrist in bich adellem extend marag maichilo the patient not able to extend the finger finger extend marag achilo so put the wrist in extension and ask the patient to extend the arm look and the finger so the patient is not able to extend the finger not only that the radial nerve giving nervation for the posterior parts of three and a half the dorsal surface of the hand radial nerve posterior three and a half in nerve it yaraglena so the patient can lose sensory loss will also be seen in the distribution of the superficial branch of radial nerve three and half parts of the dorsal surface of that so let's see area back a yet a column area like three and a half parts of the dorsal and the finger lose sensation is like blue minus sensation in a row so let's see break a radial nerve injury a level and check mark and chill out because this area is innervated by a radial nerve look if there is an injury in the middle parts of the humerus can occur from the compression of fracture that can cause radial nerve within spinal groove there is radial groove in the humerus bone like radial groove in the uh, area the area like radial nerve na deep branch of brachial profundus in the artery abro yedalu so this area is the most common site for radial nerve injury if there is any fracture at the middle parts of the humerus middle parts of the humerus z radial or spinal group or the radial group menilaw ye humerus part alle bezi bekul yemihid radial nerve alle if there is any fracture on this side the patient can lose what the patient can lose uh, radial nerve function at the distal parts of at the distal parts of the humerus there is also fracture because as this area the radial nerve has direct contact with uh, oh so the fracture of the distal side of the humerus around 20% of 22% of this side can cause radial nerve injury radial nerve injury so this is sad. all motor and sensory function will be affected below the level of this injury kazi injury betach alluten motor weyim demo sensory function ochin totally lose yaragal so the radial nerve is vulnerable usually due to the fracture of the humerus at the spiral groove spiral groove is the groove which is the radial nerve directly contact with the humerus bone ka humerus bone ga directly contact yeminoro side so because of this the injury may also occur below spinal groove when there is a fracture in the distal side of the humeral shaft the distal surface of the humeral shaft can be affected at the level of the elbow joint so the radial nerve can injure at that side so the injury to the nerve at the spiral groove lose of innervation in sensory those branches so the patient can have a paralysis of the muscle like brachioradialis muscle extensor carpi radialis muscle extensor carpi radialis brevis muscle and the patient can lose superficial sensory of the radial nerve nazi negroch lose le yarag ichilal if there is any fracture at the level of spinal groove spinal groove lay fracture katakasata በብዛ እንደዚህ አይነት ጉዳቶች እንደዚህ አይነት ፋንክሽን ሎስ ሊኖሮ ይችላል so we should consider those let's see the median nerve 
let us say media and the media nerve is originated at two cords the lateral cord and the medial cord ka medial na ka lateral cord yetawatatu nerves nacho form miyalaku look the medial nerve the median nerve give innervation for flexor digitorum superficialis muscle the radial half of the flexor digitorum profundus and the first and the second lumbricalis muscle first and second lumbricalis muscles this is the first lumbrical muscle this is the second lumbrical muscles that find that the tenor is innervated by the median so the median nerve give innervation for those muscles in addition to the medial nerve give muscles for thinner muscles of the thinner thinner muscle which is innervated by the median those muscles are abductor policy brevis flexor policy brevis and the opening policies are the muscle comb the muscle which is find at the thinner eminence so the thinner eminence the thinner eminence this is a thinner eminence so this thinner eminence is innervated by the median nerve so those muscles and those small muscles that find that the thinner eminence is innervated by median nerve the ulnar nerve the ulnar nerve give innervation for ulnar half of flexor digitorum profundus sardin force lumbrical muscle interosseous muscles the abductor policy muscles uh, the abductor policy muscles are innervated by the ulnar nerve look <clears throat> if there is an injury in the ulnar nerve the patient can have claw hand sign look if there is an injury which is occur at distal parts of uh, the ulnar nerve patient can have the claw hand sign this is a claw hand sign this sign tell you in any sign ka yachu ulnar nerve injury alle blachu consider maragi chalal so let's see ulnar nerve injury is come due to the different factor which is occur at the level of the wrist and they can have claw hand sign This is come due to loss of innervation for interosseous muscle and the lumbricals mainly affect the force and the fuse muscle but minorly affect the third and the second muscle so the force and the fuse muscles interosseous muscles are affected and the extensor digitorum is an opposite during a nerve injury and hyperextension at metacarpal phalangeal joint the patient can have hyperextension of at the level of metacarpal phalangeal joint and the force and the fives inter interosseous muscles are mainly affected because of this the force and the fives finger become powerful flexion at the level of middle phalangeal joint at the level of middle phalangeal joint so the flexor digitorum superficialis in the flexor digitorum profundus muscle can be affected finally the patient can sign and symptom of many a sign of claw hand claw hand ainat symptom dinoro ichilal this come due to hyperextension at metacarpal joint hyperextension at interphalangeal joint so let's claw hand minlo benezi hulet mikniyatoch no andenya metacarpal joint lay hyperextended yaderege no interphalangeal joint look uh itchinyo min tibalalech metacarpal phalangeal joint ezich ka yallecho angle beta above not so let's see no normal it's now it become hyper extended and this joint is called interphalangeal joint interphalangeal joint and no other 
ስለዚህ ኢንተርፋል እንጃል ጆይንት ላይ ደግሞ ያለው ይሄ ማለት ነው ሃይፐር ፍሌክሽን ስለዚህ ሁለቶችን ማየት ይኖርብናል ሁሌም ቢሆን ሜታካርፓል ጆይንት ሜታካርፓል ፋልንጃል ጆይንት ላይ ኤክስቴንድድ ማድረግ ይኖርበታል ኡሳይ ክላውሃን ኤንድ ኢንተርፋል እንጃል ጆይንቶች ደግሞ ምን ሆነ አለባቸው ፍሌክስ ምን ሆነ አለባቸው ፊውጌት ዞስ ዞስ ሳይድ ዳት ኢዝ ክላውሃን ይሄን ምን ማለት እንቻላለን ክላውሃንድ ማለት ይቻላል if there is any median nerve injury we can get two sides the ap hand and the sign of ben the sign of bendection the sign of bendection and the ap hand is sign of median nerve injury ሁለት ሳይኖችን ማግኔት ይኖርበናል አንደኛው ap hand ነው ሁለተኛው ደግሞ sign of bendection so the median nerve injury median nerve injury አለ ይለም የሚለውን ነገር ለመነጋገር we should draw the line the dorsal and the ventral line dorsal እና ventral line እናሰምራለን ከዛ በኋላ አለ ወይም የሚለም የሚለው መናገር ይችላል the median nerve give innervation for the abductor policy brevis and the opponent policy brevis muscles those muscles are innervated by median nerve and we should consider there is a paralysis of uh, the thinner muscle so the abductor policy is not affected because the, abdu uh, the abductor policy is innervated by the ulnar nerve so the patient there is a thinner the patient can have a thinner muscle the thinner muscle paralyzed um atrophy of the thinner muscle final the patient the patient hand is look like ap ye totaji ne mi maslo meknatum thinner maslo ta atrophied hono ye totaji bitayu nezi prominence ocha inoru thinner hypothenar prominence sila ma inoru ju flat selezi menin la allen sayinu ap side it resembles the hand position of the lower primates like that so ap ap wem tota wem ye totaji የሚመስል ነገር ይኖራል አንደኛው ሳይን ይሄ ነው the second sign is the sign of benediction what እንዴት ነው ይሄ ነገር ይመጣ ይችላል the sign of benediction is come due to the median nerve injury which is occur at the level of elbow elbow ላይ median nerve በሚጎዳበት ጊዜ የሚፈጠር ነው this is this is the most difficult position look <clears throat> the sign of benediction in claw hand can have a uh, ambiguous the patient can uh, patient bemtay besas claw hand now wem dagbo sign of benediction benediction no mblachu lemnager tichegerallachu so we should differentiate that we should differentiate this is sign of benediction that is sign of claw hand but this is active sign this is a normal sign of the patient so the patient can uh, can flex and extend the hand so the, if there is any high median nerve injury if there is high median nerve injury the result of paralysis of flexor digitorum superficialis muscle flexor policy longa flexor policy brevis and the radial the radial half of flexor digitorum profundus they can paralyze there is high median nerve injury means the injury which is occur at the level of elbow elbow akababi nerve bemigodabbe saat nezi mesloch min yonalu malatno paralyze yonu yichilalo in addition to that in addition to that there is a paralysis of the paralysis of the muscle which is find the hand hand lay migeyu meslochinum paralyze yonu yichilalo due to that there is a partial flexion of digits at digit 4 and 5 digit 4 እና 5 ላይ የሚገኙ መስሎች ነር ቤት የሚደረጉት ባልና ነው ስለሆነ the muscles that important flow flexion of 4 and 5 become flexed ምን ይሆናል ማለት ነው totally እዚጋ look <coughs> ይክላው ሃንድ ነው ክላው ሃንድ ላይ 
ሜታካርፓል ጆይንት ምን ማለት ምን አይኖርም ሜታካርፓል ጆይንት ሜታካርፓል ጆይንት ላይ ኤክስቴንሽን አሚኖራ ነገር ግን ሳይን ኦፍ ቤኒዲክሽን ከሆነ ወይም ዲያነር ከተጎዳ ሜታካርፓል ጆይንት ላይ ያለው እንትም ምን ይሆናል ማለት ነው ፍሌክስ ይሆናል look at this this is extension of the fourth and the fifth finger that is claw hand but there is ex total extension of the fifth and the fourth finger that is sign of benediction that is give median nerve injury so let's median nerve injury sign of benediction and sign of claw hand no bile lemeleye claw hand kone ሜታካርፓል ጆይንት ላይ ያለው አንግል ይቀንሳል that means extend ያረጋሉ sign of benediction ከሆነ ግን the fourth and the fifth finger at the level of metacarpal joint totally flex flex ያደርጋሉ ስለዚህ በዚህ ነው ምን ላይ ነው that is sign of benediction or sign of claw hand 